And if I put right. up with it now, after you after you give me the pussy, I'm definitely not going to like it later. Why something I say all the time is I don't do awkward. So if you say something I don't like, I'm going to let you know right away. I, and if it means that you don't fuck me because I've said this is in a, this is inappropriate or I don't like that, then you can go ahead and take your pussy with you, but just go yeah. and, and go wrap it in plastic and take it home in a doggy bag. Cause right. What's up, Square Pin Brigade? On this episode, we have comedian and good friend of mine, Harris Stanton. He's here. We discuss when to kick a woman out of your house, spotting red flags, dating in the Me Too era, why women are the only ones who should set boundaries, Aren't they? and how we need to learn how to set our own boundaries. Um, this was a dope one, man. Um, uh, me, Harry, and I both do consultations. I'm at DanteNero.com. Click on consult. And you know, Harry, you can hit him at advice from Harry. Advice, yeah, at gmail.com. At gmail.com. Yeah. You can hit and, him up. And, and uh, if you need a concert, please follow us on Patreon. Please, it could really help us to keep us doing. We're trying to get 500, um, 500 um, um, Patreon followers. So please tell your friends. Share, like and share this stuff. It's really important. We're on YouTube. Yeah. And- Plus, listen, over at patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content. So all that technical stuff that we talk about. Uh, dating skills, sex techniques, all that stuff. We usually kind of go heavy on the technique over at patreon.com slash manschool202. Like this week, we uh, do a bonus episode with Harris Stanton where we talk about uh, some more red flag signs that you might miss, uh, what the definition of compromise is, and when and if a woman wants you to take control. So all of that is available. Patreon.com slash manschool202 for all that bonus coverage. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yo, what's up? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Now, I know I've said that 500 times before, but this time I mean it. Um, and there's a reason I'm going to get into that in a second, but first and foremost, Harry, what's popping? You ready uh-huh. to rock and roll? I'm ready to rock and roll. Just, you know, uh, celebrating the wintertime, Christmas time coming up, and having a tough time keeping these gators down. We we got to get into this. I I don't even want no pleasantries. No, no, let's just go right into this because we got, this is just breaking news here. Hot off the breaking presses. Breaking news. Hot off the presses. So let me just introduce my guest first. Good friend of mine. Um, him and I were very close to Patrice back in the days. We did one of the first web series that ever was done before yeah. anybody was doing web series funny comic good friend of mine it was almost killed himself in the in the van with with tracy <laughs> i ain't <kidding> almost <laughs> there's motherfuckers that did die though so yeah you know, yeah <laughs> give it up for harris stanton y'all what up harris What's up, man? How you doing, man? I'm good. What's up, good. What's up Harry? Hey, man. Good to see you, bud. But this yeah. is a, this is a hot one. Harris came on, and Harris oh, came man. on right away. Go ahead. Yeah. Perfect Har- timing, y'all. Harris, yeah, it's perfect timing. Why, Harris? Why is it perfect timing? Cause I just had to kick a bitch out my house like five hours ago. Oh, congratulations, Harry. Congratulations. All right. Yeah. 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 Well done. Now, now, why? Why? In my, y- in my younger days, I used to do that once a week just to keep in practice. <laughs> so oh, man so now is this the girl that you've been dating for a while no I just, just you know like a little side action man you know right right um what it was was she's she's really pretty she's white and when you white it's really all right i like white <laughs> women <laughs> they, you know you know <laughs> They're not no, in fashion woman. as much anymore, but you're saying it that it never goes out of style, Harris. Harris no, Stanton, no, no, aka no. the snowplow. Yeah. Like like I wouldn't date a five black girl, but I'll date a five white girl. Right. Oh wow. Fair okay. Enough. Fair enough. Okay. Go I wouldn't say date. Okay, let's go let's go have sex with. Let's do that. All right, fair, fair enough. enough. Fair yeah. enough. So now yeah. you have this this uh this this white woman uh wait a minute, you house. really wouldn't date a five? You wouldn't fuck a nasty five sucking your dick? In a bathroom. That's not dating. That's not is she dating. is she overweight? Is she an overweight five? Uh, I don't know. Does that matter? <laughs> Absolutely. How how overweight? Isn't that, pa- isn't that part of the five though? Let's be honest, no. Harry. I, I, no, I, not I, necessarily. There's some there's some there's some fives with nice bodies now. 
Now what? What's oh, overweight? Okay. What's yeah. overweight? Uh, I don't know when you got cankles or some shit like that, or I don't know what. Give me a weight. Give me a weight range. This is, this would be the worst. Uh, this sounds like a medical doctor who doesn't know I, what he's doing. Five, I don't know. Five, I guess five, if you got cankles, <laughs> five I'm, five one eighty. What? Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I still don't know if, if that's a pl- a yay or a nay for Harris. That's a that's nay. The thing I don't understand. Nay, nope. nay, nay, nay. All right, okay. Uh-huh. How about one seventy five? I like that you guys are haggling now. Like, I, uh, I, I, okay, if the one seventy five is if the one seventy five is proportion in the right areas, and she got a pretty face, yes. Well, now here's what's interesting. You're not, you know, Harris. You're not supposed to have. You're not supposed to put women under those constraints. You know, they they you're not supposed to have standards. They're yes. only allowed to have standards. Body they're only the one. We, we're not right. supposed to have standards. So, right. You know, you're objectifying women unless, of course, you're making a six figure and a, a high value man. Shout out to our Lord. Shout out to our Lord. I'm a savior. high value man, but I'm a, I'm like like a Mid-value? high kind of man. I. <laughs> it value man you're an it value man yeah yeah right. whatever is under high value right under high value right. what's that right. level Busi- called? business class I medium think. medium medium level <laughs> medium value nigga <laughs> <laughs> yo <laughs> i went to the i did a show yesterday at a at a at a tattoo parlor i'm trying to get back to my roots again right <laughs> and it was it was produced by top notch comedy. And I was like, this is more like low to medium notch. Comedy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ain't, hey, ain't nothing wrong with being right under the top notch. That's, That's right. So fucking good. Since Scott, it worked for Scotty Pippen, right? It worked for a lot of niggas. <laughs> Kamala now, Harris is killing it, yeah, right? Made niggas millions. Absolutely. Now, Absolutely. Harris, what happened here? What happened to this? This uh, well, lovely, I have been seeing this. this you know, Dante, you, you would have. Yeah, I know you, you guys probably. Know, I've been seeing this chick off and on for like three years, and really, it's off because she. I think she has like a, a issue. I think she had some parenting issues growing up. Parents disowned her, so okay. uh, she told me this after a couple of incidences. But this is when I know when it got weird. A couple of incidents. Is that what we call them? Fucking incidences? No, no. Uh, incidences? No, the incidences where I had to, like, you know, Check go, up. look, I got to, yeah, I had to get, get her out of here. Like Star used to say, get him up out of here. Get him up out of here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, w- the first one was when we was riding in my car, she was taking pictures in the car, which was fine. I said, oh, I don't know if you should post that on uh, social media because, you know, whatever, whatever. She started crying. I was like, oh, shit, why, why are you crying? And she's like, oh, my God, I thought we were friends. I'm like, it's okay. Post it. So as I'm saying it's okay, post it. I didn't know it was that serious. She starts, uh, like, being won't stop being mad. Like, the whole night. It ruined the night. Right, so I was right. like, all right. I hadn't fucked yet. So, you know, you go, well, maybe I'll just I'll well, try we know it. We know what you did, Harris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll try again. And then one time, I got real close. And I said, you, she, I actually I went to the house to get some heels and some clothes to put on so she could model around in my apartment. So as we driving back to my apartment, I said, you, wait, you went said, to your house to get some no, heels? No, her house. Oh, no, okay. my I, bad. Her I, house. I thought you have yeah. like a, a, a wardrobe for business. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. That no. changes the dynamic in multiple ways, Harris. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Now we went to her house and on the way back to my house, she goes, you want me to put the heels on before we watch the movie or after the movie? I said, oh, it really don't matter. I said, you just like me. You analyze things a lot. She goes, what do you mean by that? <laughs> oh, God. I, I go, uh, well, I'm sorry. What would you say? You said I analyze things. I said, well, that's not like nothing negative. It's, uh, and she would not let it go. And you know how when they keep nitpicking about the same thing, finally you lose your mind. Yeah. And, and that, that's what happened today when I was watching a movie and we're laying in the bed. You know, she got her little sl- sexy shit on. And I'm watching, we watching a TV show. And she's now y'all talking. fucking already. Y'all have been fucking. Yeah, yeah, we did okay. already. So she, she, uh, she, she's talking through the show. So I do like this, Dante. Oh, 
So you could talk and I can't talk. I said, I, I, I'm sorry. We were watching the movie the other day and you, you was talking. I said, yeah, but you also could have said, hey, I'm watching the movie. Could you be quiet? And guess what? I wouldn't have done this. Mm. I would have shut up and watched the movie. But she goes into you can talk and then she goes into your father and your so I'm like, whoa, what the Wait, fuck? Your, your father what? What she said about your father? I told my I told her in a conversation. I said my father doesn't have any imagination because he doesn't. All he watches news and and then so she threw that into the argument about me. I'm like, first of all, my father don't even have nothing to do with this shit. What's his, him not having an imagination got to do with what's going on right now? Nothing. It just it just it, it got and, and that since I had been through it before Dante when she tried to keep going. I, I usually try to like calm her down, but I was like. You know what? You can, just, you can just get the fuck out. And what did she say to that? What did she say? She started that? crying profusely. Mm -hmm. She said that I'm a mean man, and I said, you know what? I've been. I'm 45 years old. I've been just around a lot of. Just because something is true doesn't mean she could bring it up, Harris. You right. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's she said, no I'm reason. a mean man. I should be embarrassed. And I told her, I said, I've been around a lot of women in, in a lot in years of doing what I'm doing, and no woman has ever said that to me. Only you. She goes, that's because they're afraid of you. I go, oh, shit, we got to get this Me Too bitch out of here, yeah, man. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you about to get arrested. You you about to you about to get Emma Tilled in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and guess what? You know what's funny about that, Dante? What? She works for she works for Reverend Al Shot. She 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 works on a lot of uh, black stuff. Mm. Oh, boy. From Boston. Oh, oh my boy. God! She's trying to she's trying to get it back on both ends, huh? She's trying to dude. get fucked by a black dude working with Al Sharpton. She's trying to get, and she's from Boston. That is a that is a conflictual kind of personality, my friend. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. I but you know how we be doing? We be trying to get that little you know vagina, and we no, we, we, you do not. Oh, we yeah, don't, yeah, we yeah. Don't. I know you don't do. <laughs> It's funny, Harris, because uh, yeah. we have been having this talk. With, I've been having this talk with you for 20 years. For 20 fucking years. I'm a nice guy, Dante. I'm I'm not a mean guy. No, I don't I would I don't think anybody would say that except for this crazy white girl you was dating. Um yes. I've never I don't know, Harry, how about you? Ever heard No, I've never heard anybody a bad word. say I've never Harris heard anyone is, say mean about Harris Harris has been nothing but uh, a kind person in my encounters with him and I've never heard any a bad word about Harris. Dude, dude, when I went 10 minutes after I did this, she goes, you didn't do that. I go, yes, I did. Oh, forget it. And she oh. goes, the, your mood changed. And my mood didn't change. I just told you to be quiet so I can watch the show. The fuck is wrong with you? I'm getting heated listening to this. I'm getting I'm oh getting angry God. listening to this. I that's wish you that's because you haven't heard all of Harris's stories for all the years. There's no reason for you to get upset about this this one story I know, because I know, but... the insanity of Harris doing the same shit and expecting a different result. Well, is... you know, this is the craziest woman I ever dealt with, Dante. Uh, hmm. nigga, they ain't no more crazy than that. Like you said, that's almost an Emmett Till situation, the way she was talking. Yeah, that gets well, rough. That gets scary. But, but you seem to think that this is a different situation. This is no different than any other crazy bitch that you ever you ever dealt with. I remember, where did you go? I remember you got on a plane. I think maybe it would have been Vegas to go get some pussy from somewhere uh -oh. and then got into an argument with the girl and spent the whole weekend without getting no ass. Tr flew out there. Where did you go? No, that wasn't me. <laughs> no, was it me. was you. It was definitely you. Uh -oh. You flew out somewhere to go see some girl, and and then y'all in fuck. You know, I usually, you know what it is. I usually fly out somewhere. I don't just go. It was probably I was doing a show. And right, she right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, there's been a few incidents with baby situations. You know, <laughs> there's been a few situations like like that. I can't recall which one. It's fine. It's fine. This is you are you are, you're messy. It. That's the way the Harris handle it is from messy. The jury. I don't recall. I do not recall. Just keep repeating. I don't recall that. I do not recall. I cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> right. Um, but this is this is a thing about Harris. Harris is such a good dude, such a loyal dude, such a good dude and a loyal dude. And um 
but he don't he doesn't understand what the value of that is. Like you don't think it's almost like you feel like you gotta have game to get in or or like you because that's that's not you never advocated that you kind of you smooth like that or not like that. You just kind of you how how is the country boy at heart? I got and the just, same move with all the with all the chicks, man. The what's same your, move. What's your move? What's your move? <laughs> Yo, you know I do a great foot massage. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it works sometimes, and it, it don't work sometimes. That's Tony Rockahora. It works. Yeah. yeah, I like I I like a bitch foot. Yeah, well, he, Harris Harris is a nasty motherfucker. Harry Harris is no way. He like he Harris will Harris will pay a bitch to fart in his face. Yes. Without, he, he's like yes, absolutely. That's the only that's the only thing Harris has confirmed. This already did that. Interview. I, I know, I, Harris. We've known each other for 20, 20 years now, man. It, shit, of course. It's I know. best. It's best to do it when you got like a full beard too. <laughs> Why? Because it lasts longer. You get more money worth. <laughs> or because you feel, or the breeze just goes by. You could actually see the. Uh, <laughs> no, Harry, you don't understand. It, it stays, stays in the, the in the follicles. In the <laughs> I understand. I was just going for a, <laughs> the a follow up. Stays in the follicles, so just you yeah. Get see, Harry, it will just slide right off your smooth face. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of reasons it wouldn't work. But <laughs> one of the which I one wouldn't of, have paid for it. <laughs> one of is I never wanted that, nor would I be willing to pay for it. But then I guess in third is that there's nothing for it to stay in my uh, <laughs> that, system. That's the least of your worries is that you don't have a beard. That's why they call it a flavor saver, though. You don't have a flavor. Like, yeah, first time I ever heard someone refer to a flavor saver, that I laughed about that for three days straight. <laughs> Just the my favorite. My favorite thing to do is to have a chicken heel squat over a champagne glass and. Wine glass and pee in it. Then I'll mm. check the legs. Then I'll you swirl it around. Yeah, I swirl it. You check I the bouquet. It, I, yeah, I call it piscato. Piscato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to have me, you know, a little piscato every once in a, a while. Piscato, fair enough. Fair enough. You, but just just a champagne glass, not like a goblet, not no, like. Not- not, not like a, milk. I'm not a. I'm not a weirdo. Not yeah. like uh, not like simply. a Viking goblet. Right? Nah, nah. Just a little. Just a little. Where you got glass. You got to drink yeah. and pour. <sighs> Harris would do it in that that cup that they got Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade, where they got the chalice. <laughs> or maybe a little Doctor Dixie cup. <laughs> Harris's dream is to win the Stanley Cup, so he could just have a girl squat <laughs> over it and fill the Stanley Cup, <laughs> and then swirl it around. Uh, Harris drinks like a three-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, but but Dante, not regular pee, like 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 uh tequila pee. Oh, that's got to be from drinking. Yeah, y'all, y'all gonna be drinking. Now, yeah. can you can you taste the tequila? I put a little bit in just to. Oh, give you add a, a little tequila. I add a little bit in, yeah. It's always, you know. This is really gone off the so rail you quick. Use a woman's Jesus. pee as a mixer. Is what you're hey, nobody saying. watching this, is it? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> they will be though. <laughs> hey, I'm a I'm a comedian. I, I just be telling jokes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your honor. That's you know that's what's great about being a comedian. When you get off stage, no matter how much truth you said, you mm-hmm. can always hide behind it's an act. No. <laughs> I don't know if I can, but that's me. <laughs> well, not nobody that knows you, Dante. Absolutely not. <laughs> when you do a show in Wisconsin, they don't know. They be like, well, "Do you really? Do yeah, you really man. like a little piscato?" <laughs> yes. Until that, until that little snow bunny goes, "Do you really?" You be like, "You about to find out." Watch. <laughs> hey, you want to drink some tequila? Just <laughs> who wants to do shots? I forgot, man. Y'all got drinks over there. I should have came over there and did this personally. We 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 haven't been in the studio since before COVID. Oh, word. Yeah, because it's just you know it's you don't just, trust Harry. Nah, it wasn't that. Harry got disease. This is yeah, true. probably, but that's not why. It's just it's just easier that we could just yeah. you know here's yeah. the link and let's do it. Absolutely. Um, so let me ask you this: What about this chick? Uh, what was the the red flag? The first red flag. I'm not. 
not the first time you there was crying, but there had to be. Well, I what I always say is this. Oh, yes. Yeah, so give me a minute because you get ready to say it was nothing, and it came out of the blue. It never crazy don't never come out of the blue. Well, this I didn't pay attention get, to it then. Yeah, well, I, we know that because you're trying to get that little pussy. You are trying to get that little get a little taste, so you didn't pay attention to nothing, and that's something that I've been yelling at Harris for fucking twenty years. But Dante, gotta, to be honest with you. It was like the first time we hung out, to be honest. Like, we talked on the phone, but, it, you know, that's it didn't come out on the phone. This was like maybe hours after hanging out. So how long did you, how long did you, um... How long you known her over, like, uh, phone and all? Quality time all? How not long, long at all. Not long okay. at all. We didn't have much conversation at all before that night. And then y'all just I'd be, I'd be hooked fucking. up. How'd you meet her? I met her at a, a party that Dean took me to. Okay. She's actually uh I keep her name or not. She's actually a a musician, very talented musician. Um wait, she's not famous or anything. This, wait, which one is this one we're talking about? The one you kicked out of your house four hours yeah, ago? Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought she worked for Al Sharpton. I mean, well she does. Kid. That's what oh, she do on uh, the side. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, sorry. Mm, she got fourteen jobs. You sure she ain't Jamaican? She's uh, got no. twelve jobs. White chick from Boston, man. No. Oh man! Well, those you should—that's already a red flag right there. No, no, what was the, crazy? What was the yeah, <laughs> dating you your black better. ass? <laughs> As she showed up. She showed up at your house with a Celtics jersey. You should have kicked her right out, right over there. <laughs> that's the first thing you should have done. She was like, "You're wicked cute," you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, you're wicked cute. <laughs> yeah, that that Boston that Boston accent do do get a brother. Oh yeah, you like that? Yeah, I'm you know I'm from South Carolina. I don't hear I I, I didn't grow up with that you know. So every little accent different sound good to me. The, whatever's what's ever different, you good, you in. Yeah. Harris treats a Boston accent like we treat like an Australian accent. He's like, yeah. Ooh, that's... Like, in fact, Harrison said that you from Australia. <laughs> what are you stupid? No. <laughs> no, I'm fucking wicked from fucking Boston. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted Sam Adams? <laughs> God damn, big, Harry. I'm a big Ray Donovan fan. You know, I used to like Mags. Yeah. <laughs> Mags is a tough bitch. Yeah. She's also ugly. The daughter was ugly as shit. God yeah. Man. That's he what the accent like, will do to you. It'll trick looked, you into thinking she's exotic, even though she's only three and a half hours from here up uh, I-95. <laughs> yeah, I would love I would have loved that gig, Dante. You got put to sleep by by Ray Donovan. Oh, you saw me uh get knocked <laughs> out by Ray Donovan. Yeah. That shit was funny. To do with the Parkinson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to love that show. One of my favorite shows. Yeah, I loved it too. I didn't like it after they killed off uh, the wife. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, whatever. The New York shit? Yeah, yeah. It was like, right. you know. Did you see the movie? The, the movie they did on Showtime? No, nah, how was it? It was good. They, it was good. They, they closed it off. You know, no, yeah. Off. But getting back, Harrison, get back to the thing. There, Dante, you were suggesting that Harris missed a lot of red. Oh, flags. Harris always misses because Harris is one track. So when he is when he's trying to get he's trying to get some new some new pussy, it's he don't he's not watching nothing. It's he's single minded. He's he's like the you know you ever see the jogger not? <laughs> and and you know the, the jogger not? <laughs> yeah. I got, I gotten better though, man. You know, watching a lot of ID ch- investigative discovery, human behavior shit. Well, gotta look- okay, now you gotta explain that all together. Like I don't, I don't know where you get that from. Oh uh, well, the ID channel has a lot of uh, shows about hu- human behavior on it. Um, you know, from serial you know, killers, missing serial people. killers, and and you know, uh, uh, licensed therapists speaking about certain situations. Uh, and the actions of people before they do stuff, and they do that sometimes with the with the crime show. So oh, you, mean you learn a little bit in terms of the profile. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you use learn about red use, flags, like white. You use profiles for serial killers and murderers, and in your no, it's personality <laughs> profile, personality profile. Yeah, you for don't have, serial killers and murderers. Not necessarily just narcissists and, and psychopaths. They're not That's all true. serial killers and murderers. Who are serial killers and. <laughs> Most of them aren't Dante. Most narcissists and, and psychopaths aren't. And so, killers. what do they? What do they? If they're on a crime show, it's got to be some murder in it, no? Yes, they are, but 
those are the ones you hear about. But most Harris is people, saying that that a majority of the people in everyday life exhibit those same characteristics. They absolutely. just don't murder people, which exactly. I, I don't disagree with. Listen, I've been in multiple. That's an absolute fact. Either, but that's but an absolute thanks, fact. Thanks for fucking up my joke for explaining it all. You guys are great. Oh, I Let's, thought you really didn't get it. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> thanks, great. Harry. Well, oh, Jesus. <laughs> It's not great that that's what you have to do with your relationships, but that's fine. It's fine. Wait, no, it's not something I have to do. It's just like something like you're just aware of when you out with a motherfucker. So, yeah. you, so you, okay. So here's my thing. When once you once you had the you Lean got the, the the first you know the first thing right the first taste of it was what the first taste of it was what. Was the was the cell phone crying crying? So you said what happened? Oh, she wanted to post something and you didn't let her post it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So I said something's going on inside her and some kind of insecurity going on inside her. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm still trying to get this pussy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try to make whatever I have to do to be nice, just so I can get the pussy. Then I, you know, whatever after that. You do understand that is ignoring red flags, Harris. <laughs> that is the whole. And not only is it ignoring it, it's seeing it, touching it, examining that it is a red flag, and then continuing. And then to go going, forward. I'm gonna keep plowing. Yeah, but I, this. It's, I, it's not that I didn't notice it. I did. I just didn't give a fuck. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. He's he's not saying that he missed it. He's saying I had no intention. He's willing on, to take that risk. He's a I, I had no intention on changing anything in my life as long until I got this pussy. And yes, was, I'll deal with. T- <laughs> okay. Yes. Fair enough. Fair Something enough. guys been doing for years. <laughs> Some niggas yeah. they'll still do it. <clears throat> yeah, but Listen. usually not at forty. You're right, but you know when you, you know you're on a little bit of a drought, nigga, you take chances. <laughs> no, I don't. But I Harris get it. Is like, listen, on fourth down, sometimes you got to go for it. You know, you can't yeah, man. Every time. Sometimes. Exactly. Man, I like you, Harry. Man, you understand me. <laughs> Harry, I understand. Harry's I actually, never mind. Forget it. I'm, I'm the good cop, go. Harris. That's what this so, is. So let me uh, so so yeah, let me get you... Harris. Let me get you a soda. You want a soda and some chips? And then I get all the confession. <laughs> Dante comes in and goes, "The fuck is your problem?" <laughs> right. And I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I don't know what Dante's problem. I'm is, like, man. you're never, yeah, you're, you're never gonna get out of here, motherfucker. I'm gonna see you rot. And he's like, whoa, what's, what happened to the... the I'm like, don't even listen I, to him. He's, I'm he's, eating a Snickers bar. What are you... Hey, that's what that's what Patrice and uh, Brian Kennedy was playing on the podcast. I mean, oh, oh yeah. The, the yeah, good the, cop, bad cop. Yeah. 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 Let me ask you this. What would have to happen for you to go not be single-minded, have something like that happen that pops up and you not... And you go... All right, I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna turn the pussy down. Like you ever, you ever turn it down? Like could get the pussy and just go no. You mean like if it's new? Uh yeah. <laughs> nah. I already, I already got the answer for that. Nah. That was a quick the, answer. The, that, the delay and the 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 pause was. It was ex- that, that was I the longest. Her, ex- if I find her extremely sexually attractive, I will deal with whatever mental shit I have to deal with. If I can take it until I can get it, and then I'll be like, "Bitch, get out of here." <laughs> Matter of fact, Dante, when she got in that, when she started um, nitpicking about me going like this, I was like, "Thank God, now she's gonna leave because I'm gonna kick her out. I know this is not gonna end until right. I kick her out." So I was like, "Ooh, now I can start my day because it was like eight. It was like nine in the morning when this shit happened." Right. Right. Wow. wow. Damn, Harris, is it that? If I hadn't done anything, she'd have probably still been here, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. but Harris, why? Why? Like, are you don't I'm think not doing it no more, Dante? I quit. You're not. You're it just not happened. Quit. That's the you? last time I blocked her. I had enough. Yeah, no, no, from no, no. her. We're not talking about her, Harris. We're not talking about her. We're talking about the next girl. Oh, some this other girl a... could definitely. Some other girl could definitely get me like that. Why? Are you okay with it? And well, because I, I know that I know I have one um 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 goal in mind and once i'm done i can i can knock all that shit get out of here crazy bitch yeah mm. let me ask you this what do you what do you think your 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 body count is now uh much lower than yours 
<laughs> well, we, we know that. All right. Okay. I don't know. I, uh, I guess I don't, was, you know what? I don't even, I, I never counted, but, uh, uh, pro- shit, man. I don't know. Shit, I don't forgot some of the girls. You know, you be forgetting some yeah, of the girls. Yeah, I get it. Oh, give me an approximation. 500? Nigga, no. I don't even think I'm in the hundreds. You in the hundreds, nigga. I could count off 100 in 20 years. Uh-huh. You know, I was married for well, that, you know. That never stopped you at all. <laughs> Um, damn you man, I don't... got a hundred in the first year of your marriage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I talk a good game, man, but you know, I, 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 I don't slay as much as you know, but I, I, man, I don't know, 75. It's gotta be more. I know at least 30. And look, you, I don't be counting, man. I just eat. You don't understand, <laughs> Dante. Harris has one goal. Right. And there's nothing else. There's no counting. There's no writing. There's no there is just smashed and puss smash. Yep. And then I'll deal with the consequence. Here's the pro- here's the problem with that. Now, with all the me too shit. And this is what I said to dudes. A lot of dudes that do that pickup artist stuff. Right. And that pickup artist stuff is where you 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 diminish her self-esteem so that you lower her self-esteem so she finds you attractive because so she's worth but what happens is a lot of these dudes um the and i've said this to dudes before this is why pickup artist stuff is a problem there used to be a situation where i mean we grew up in that where you you know you go out you get drinks you get drunk you you know you you drunk fuck each other or you 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 know she say no you say yeah you you grab a titty she put it back in you pull it out you put your dick in it like we used to do that I mean that was kind of the way I mean we've learned the problem was that there was no recourse for that like there was no consequence to that and now women have a consequence so you could have you could have a relation you could have a sexual relationship with somebody not walk her to the downstairs to the Uber. And she go, oh, this motherfucker just let me, let me go down to go there and jump on the train or not give me an Uber. And she, and then she goes, oh, he he took some pussy, like that could happen now. Yeah. And whereas, even if that happened back in the days, you could be like, I was bugging, and you and everybody would go, oh, she, oh, you was at his house at two o'clock, like whatever. So literally now, because of the because of the Me Too, which I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I think it needed to happen because dudes were so horrible to women in the first yeah. place. But, yeah. But you gotta also take into consideration that now there's a there's a consequence to that. That women have a recourse to that, and even though it may be you know a falsification, you may you know a chick who who was consensual who didn't like what happened or later on in in retrospect, she goes that this was an awkward situation. I really wasn't comfortable with. She has recourse that she can end your life. So it is weird that you don't, you haven't even, so you haven't changed any, I mean, sounds like you haven't changed anything from 20 (laughs) years ago. And I get it because you're not a dude. You're not an aggressive dude that like, you're not a, take the pussy kind of dude, you know what I mean? You're not a, an abusive or aggressive dude. But what I'm saying, you don't think about the fact that that, that could flip on you. Oh, yeah, I do. I, I, I thought about it today when I kicked her out. <laughs> <laughs> but not enough for you to stop dealing with crazy chicks just to get the pussy and then uh, I'll, I'll sort it out on the back end. You know, it depends, man. It's a lot of a lot of variables. Uh, you know, if she obviously like when like when I like first meet her, I seem a little like I might be, you know, pull off then. But sometimes, have you ever obvious. done that? Have you ever done that? Like, yeah, right absolutely, the, absolutely, yeah. off the bat, yeah. What would a thing yeah, be that a, a chick does that uh, that you would be you would deem too crazy to even uh, deal with this remotely? Um. Well, I've never had a beautiful girl do it, but I've had girls. That maybe I would do something, but it was just a little, uh, I, you know, those situ- I can't remember because it doesn't happen often, man. But, um, you know, most this girl, whatever her psychosis is, she can hide it very well. She deals with a lot of. Um, right. Because she's in the public figure. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. She can hide it very well. You don't see it until, you, you know, it just pops out of the blue. 
So, you know, it, that's on, I mean, listen, when like first that. meeting somebody, it doesn't always show in, you know, the, the, from the second you meet them. I mean, this is, yeah. this is the first time you're hanging out with them. That's understandable that it does pop up. Uh, you know, it doesn't. Some of them can hide it well and long. Some of them can hide it till you get into a relationship with them. Yeah. 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 That's happen- well, that happens as well. Yeah. I, you think, Dante, maybe there was some red flags they didn't see? Always. Still- always. Yeah. There's yeah, always right. red flags that you, yeah. because you like her, because you're attracted yeah. to her. Because you're right. You're right. You're right. You put you're her right. on the pedestal. Things right. would happen. And in retrospect, when you look back on it, um, it's you know it's you you still dating the girl that you was dating before the the one I met. Yeah, put it this way, Dante. When it comes to making a girl my girlfriend, all those red flags are paid attention to. But some girl I'm just trying to you know smash and eh, whatever she a little crazy whatever. I ain't make I ain't bringing her home to mother. You know girls I bring home to uh, I think about I could actually have something with. I pay attention to those red flags a great deal, especially now, now your, that I'm older. your girl is okay that you smash something or whatever or no she's not okay. She don't know, and I don't think she's gonna watch this podcast. Okay. <laughs> I like Harris's. I think Harris likes the excitement. I, Harris is does. like a tightrope walker. He, but you know that he likes some different. I mean, that's why he likes a little pistinia. Piscato. <laughs> he like a piscato. piscato. Thank you. He like a piscato, pistini, whatever. He likes it. A fart in his face. We, 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 I've been places where Harris had paid strippers to spit in his glass. <laughs> you know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it's COVID it's a must lot. have really been a nightmare for you then, Harris, because uh-huh. I mean, COVID must have really been a nightmare for you then. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's hard. It's hard to get. There's been shit. times where I got some spit in my glass and then remembered that it was a pandemic. <laughs> I was so excited. She said, "Yeah, I didn't. I forgot about the pandemic." <laughs> how did you get? How did you? What? What made you get like that? What do you think that got you like that? Way oh, I know exactly where it came from. I, you remember when we were in, when we were in school, like around the fifth or sixth grade, and that old phrase, "She's so fine, I'll drink her bath water." Yeah, yeah. I used to be like, "I'll really do it." Right. <laughs> and so then that one was, time, so somebody said it to you, and you said, "That sounds delicious." It sounded it, it for some reason it triggered something in my brain, and I remember the exact moment. I I think I started liking like saliva. You know how there's always the, I don't know about New York, but in my little town there was the the five hottest chicks in school. When I was in PE class with one of them, and she had them little PE shorts on, and we were playing kickball, and she just spit on the ground, and it just made my it's, dick jump. Right, right, right. Just <laughs> and from yeah, from then I just like that's that's my shit. I hadn't even done it yet. But it just right. triggered something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then it was just always a thing. Yeah, yeah. And as I got older, it got worse and I finally got the real thing. And you know. And it just down yeah, it's been slippery. What then, do you call it? Yeah. Slippery soap as the slippery slope. The conservative, the GOP says it's a slippery. Yes, it is. P, P, P came later in life. Yeah. Hmm. But I'm never upgrading. It? I'm never upgrading the feces. Too disgusted. All right. That's where you draw Fair the line. Enough. Understandable. Well, I'm. We're glad to hear that. We we glad that. To... <laughs> Unless the chick is hot enough, right, Harris? No, no, no. Oh, okay, all right. Just you know it. why? Because it smells so bad. Uh-huh. That's why. Like, okay, understandable. understandable. If it did, put it this way: if it didn't smell like it did, I would consider it. <laughs> How about underneath a glass table? Just. Uh, I would do that. I would do that. Okay, all right. Well, just you know, giving you some ideas, trying to. Mm. <laughs> Tracy said he did that once, but I don't believe him. Who said that? Tracy, Tracy Morgan said he did it once. I don't believe him though. I think yeah. he was just saying that to get a rise out of me. Which I side of the switch. table was he on though? The other, the side where the shit wasn't going to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Was he on top? Was he doing this? <laughs> no, no, he was, was on the bottom. A joke. Yeah, I know. I know. Here's oh, okay, the, yeah, I didn't do it. Yeah, I here's just, the thing. You know, that's how, hilarious. I get it now. No, Tracy <laughs> Morgan's fat ass ain't gonna fit under nobody's squatting, co- cocktail squatting table. over a glass. Coffee Tracy's table. not fat no more. <laughs> Tracy's always fat. <laughs> Even when he ain't fat, he's skinny fat. Right, right, right. You take that, you take that shirt off. You, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Tracy looks like a short thigh. Yeah, he, he, yeah. He takes the shirt <laughs> off. He got like chicken. an adolescent body, torso. You be like, you like dark meat? You like, let me get a short thigh. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so the first, the first thing was the, the. Not posting on. I thought we were friends. 
You know, I'm, I'm weird like that. I don't like that anyway. I don't like if you with me. Why are you on so like stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of like that. But after she was crying so much, man, I said go ahead and do it. But w- what was even more irritating about her is that when you say something to her and she thinks that it's a slight, and you go, "I didn't mean it that way," she doesn't let it go, mm. and she keeps on talking about it like you meant to do it and then that pisses me off i'm like you're not listening you're not getting i didn't mean so it what like was that your, what was your response to that to not like so there's these movements there's these things that that, that where you communicate you know there's always like you got to learn you know everybody's screaming you got to communicate you got to learn how to communicate you got to communicate you got to communicate so you now you're coming i mean i would imagine the all these years of you know you dealing with all the you know people when i you you communicate better so your right. your point was like look i that's not how i meant it at all blah 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 and why did you not want her to post it cuz you just didn't want to post it cuz i'm kind of like you and i mean it's you're in my car i mean i don't know it wasn't nothing. that's that's why later on i said don't post but i'm kind of like you when it comes to that like you all are doing all this shit with your phone like and you know, and then and then she'd be around, you know, comedy sometimes. So I'm like, you, I don't know people. Some some people cats know my car. You friends mm-hmm. with a lot of cats. I'm friends with. I don't yeah. know if you want your business all out there. That's basically yeah. why. Yeah, but it's a it's an interesting thing that like I do that as a as a baseline. Look, I'm not, you know, I, I I'll go if if I'm out on. I'll be like, I'm not. Listen, you want to do social media, we can end this date and then you could go shoot all the pictures you want and then we can when you have time for me, we can come back and we can do this, but I'm not going to continue. I I'm here to meet you. I'm here to get to know you and I I can't get to know you if you're if you're constantly on your phone and you're, it's to me it's disrespectful and I'm fine if that's what you prefer to do. I'm just not going to participate in it. Right, um, right. You know, and I and I'll make that clear. Would you ever have that conversation or no? Because you you still one minded. You. <laughs> uh, well, it it depends on the if it's a person that knows a lot of people we know, then I would have that conversation. If it's somebody that don't you know somebody from Wisconsin, put it on your social media. I don't care. But it's like it was a more inner circle type thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, but isn't it, isn't it, is it, because what bothers me is not so much the inner circle, it's the fact that you're not present. That like, as well, but she, but she wasn't, she, she's not a constant doing, she wasn't a, one of those people that constantly did that. Okay. And she right. still, and even the last few times we hung out, she, she, she doesn't do that. But it was just that one time she had her feet up on the dashboard and doing all type of crazy, I'm like, yo, don't, don't post that, fam. <laughs> and I don't even know if she was or not, I was just, you know, making sure it, that shit didn't end up, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean, I get it. I, I But I think it, it, one of the things that helps you helps you with your boundaries is that you got to you got to kind of define your boundaries. And if you don't define your boundaries, then you're subject to each situation based right. on who it is. Whether like I don't care how pretty she is. I don't care how ugly and well, how bad like there's a standard that I want to be treated and I'm not going to settle for less than that. And I don't care who you are. I'm going to have that conversation, which is interesting because I kind of get the feeling that you kind of, you're really malleable in the fact that you, you're willing to put up, like you said, well, I mean, you said that if she's real pretty, I'll put up with more. And, and I'm like, I don't care what it is because ultimately this is going to end up in a situation where I'm not going to like it. I don't like it now. I'm surely not going to like it later. And if I put right. up with it now, after you after you give me the pussy, I'm definitely not going to like it later. Like right. like once you, once I get that once I get that poison out, right? Yeah, it, exactly. It really ain't going it ain't really going to wash. So I've just learned that I try to set up my set my situation up. And and even if it's a you know, it's a flash in the pan or something quick, I like because I just feel like I'm older and I just like I'm not going to live forever, you know, and I'm not willing to give somebody to to give credence or give space for somebody to be disrespectful or to make me uncomfortable or even, I, you know, I something I say all the time is I don't do awkward. So if you say something I don't like, I'm going to let you know right away. Uh, and if it means that you don't fuck me, 
because I've said this is in a, this is inappropriate or I don't like that, then you can go ahead and take your pussy with you, but just go yeah. and, and go wrap it in plastic and take it home in a doggy bag. Cause right. And I've done that with her and she left and didn't get no, you know, and then six months later, Hey, how you doing? Did you, did you get some therapy yet? Oh no, I'm still crazy as hell. You want some pussy? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, all right. <laughs> But you know, you understand that when you take that pussy, it's it's what she's doing is she's wiping it. She, this is a funny thing. Years ago, I how I was um, this was something that went down with um with uh with Lenny, and he was this which is it's his Lenny wife whom? now, huh? Lenny whom? Marcus. Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Lenny Marcus for people and, who it, and uh, comedian his, Lenny Marcus. And he was he was dealing with this chick. It's his wife and wife, and they got a they got a baby and everything. And I remember telling him, you know, this was before he, that though. Yes, this was before right. he was just dating, and he was. And Lenny's a good dude. I mean, we all, are, you know, the reality is we all good dudes at at some level. Even when the worst of us, pretty good dudes. He was taking her to Paris and Bahamas, and she was going on trips and cruises and stuff. And she was like, just you know, she. You know, that dude has been on Letterman, been on all kinds of TV, wrote places, traveled all over the world. And he was um he was taking her out and 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 dating her. And then all of a sudden she goes, you know, I, I just oh, this is what happened. She he this was years ago, early, early on in when I was doing the when the podcast was called Base Phillip. He had heard me on somebody else's podcast and he was like having these problems with this girl because she was like pushing him, you know, she was pushing him and and kind of manipulate him and then, you know, taking away and then being angry and stuff. And so she goes, um, she goes, you know, I really need I need some space to kind of sort this out. And right when she said that, he called me up and uh, and said, uh, you know, can I talk to you? Met me actually met me at Stand Up New York. Um, hold on. Uh, and then she goes, uh, so she, he basically, she basically says, uh, I need some space to, to sort some things out. So he comes and talks to me the same night, like he, like what well, a day after. And I go, let's, I think sometimes we don't understand. Like I'm always talking about the subtext of what's being said. Like what is when people say certain things, um we are we are there there's an inference that you can make from their behavior and from the words that they use that tell you give you the full the full story of who this person is. If somebody if you say don't post that and she says, "Well, I thought we were friends," right? What she's in essence saying is, "Because we are friends, I should be able to do whatever I want to do, and you would be okay with that, regardless if, if you're uncomfortable with it or not. And the response to that is, uh, yes, we are friends, but just because we are friends doesn't give you the right to do whatever you want to do, any way you want to do it, how you want to do it. And then I'm supposed to stand by and just let you do. And, and then as long as I do what you want me to do, we're fine. And then the minute I don't want something to do, I don't want you to do something or I'm uncomfortable with something. Now, all of a sudden, I'm a horrible person and I'm and I mean you harm and I'm disrespectful. That's not the thing. Us being friends, you post in a pressure, nor does it. It doesn't make us be friends, nor does it say we're not friends if I don't let you post a picture. It's just right. a situation where right. I'm, I'm saying I don't want to. I'm just not comfortable with this. I just right, I don't right, want to do exactly. something. Right. right? I, and I when just, do they I, say, I don't want to do something, and you go, well, I just want to do it anyway. Are they okay with that? Never. Never. Never, Doug. I, I, I mean, I remember talking to Jared. I told this story a couple times. Jared Free was dating this girl, and they weren't exclusive. And uh, the girl was, um, the, the girl, she was at his house. They weren't exclusive. They were dating. You know, they were cool enjoying each other but there was still never nothing was it was unspoken she found some panties of some girl on his bed and he called me up and asked me what to do and i told him i told him to tell her to put it back put it back 
because she doesn't want, I don't want you to lose it when she comes back. She needs to know where her panties are. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and the reason for that is you don't, you're letting her know already up front that oh, you don't get to dictate. Can I said to him, can you imagine you were, y'all were not in a relationship. You were not in an exclusive relationship. Can you imagine you went to her house and y'all were fucking, and then you look in the condom, in 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 the, you look in the in the garbage and there's a Magnum condom wrapper, right? A big ass gold gold one because you know you can see them from. My- <laughs> <laughs> but you why they see gotta this- be so bright? They're already so big. Why they gotta be so <laughs> big and bright? Why, like a why big, bright and shiny. Big gold frisbee, right? <laughs> It's like a CD like a case. like a Earth Wind and Fire album cover, right? right. <laughs> so, so he's. I said, can you imagine if you grabbed the rapper, a condom rapper, and said, "What is this?" She would say, "Listen, are you, that's that's in my garbage. Are you picking?" She would go, "Are you picking in my garbage? The fuck is wrong with you? Get out of my!" And she would throw you out, right? I said, "So, it, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, not for them, and ain't." Uh, well, that if you allow it, if you allow right, it, right. sure. Because right. if you go, listen, if you're interested in having an exclusive relationship, we can have that discussion and see where we're at on that, right? Or, but for you to just assume that you can, because you emotionally are offended by something because it makes you feel insecu- insecure, you don't get to do that. You don't get exactly. to do that with me. It, and, 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 and I think having that conversation is the thing that makes you even more attractive to women when you're going, I don't really care. I don't care what happens. I'm going to maintain my the level of dignity that I'm going to have for myself no matter what. I don't <laughs> care what you do or what you don't do. I'm not going to, you're not going to be able to just treat me any way you want to treat me. And I think what that does, the subtext is that I'm valuable that I know what my value was. And if you don't, if you can't, if there's no compromise in you, then we could just keep it moving. We got to, let's, let's do the Patreon. We're going to do the little bonus afterwards. Anything you want to plug Harris? Uh, well, I heard well, you've, been, how, you've been headlining. I, I did DC with Dean with uh Karen Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. I was in uh, Rochester and then I did uh, something in Hartford, but uh, me and Dean are going to Colorado Springs this weekend to do something out there um but not promote my album man people uh, p- uh people like it when they hear it so you know if you you like listening to comedy albums go get mine harris stanton naive innocence it's on all platforms uh anywhere you look you should be able to find it pretty good album naive I'm innocence. On, so. yeah i'm working on another one but uh because of covid i haven't been able to gather the material but i'm, I'm i got about 30 minutes but i can't find that Extra fifteen twenty quite yet, but I'm I'm getting there eventually, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 man. Um, Harry, talk. Uh, quick. all my stuff is uh on TikTok and YouTube. It's all at Harry Turjanian, and I'm also doing relationship consultations. Uh, so if you want to do that, uh, email me at advicefromharry at gmail dot com. Um, Harry, you look no. Harry, you like you just shaved. I did. I just just shaved for Yeah, your today, face yeah. look clean. Thanks, like bud. Like a baby's yeah. ass. Like I it know. wouldn't even hold a fart, Not a, in it? <laughs> it wouldn't hold a fart. Beat me Slide too. right off. Uh, yo, you know what it is. Google me, bitch. Uh, don't forget to don't forget to sign up for the Patreon. We're trying to get 500 members on the po- Patreon. So please help us out so we can keep this thing going. Um, uh, and you can hit me, DanteNero.com. Click on consult. You can consult with me. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution being podcasted. Uh, I love y'all, man. Let's check us on the Patreon side. <laughs>